Hi everyone, welcome to Prince Interest Kitchen. If you are joining me for the first time, guys, I want to welcome you. And to all my subscribers, I want to thank you and welcome you as well. Guys, today we are making tomato stew. I get a lot of questions about how I'm able to make my jollof brownish or reddish. I don't know which is which. So today I decided to make a video of how I make the tomato based stew for the jollof and i know you're gonna love it and this is step by step we're not gonna skip any of them so these are the ingredients i'm gonna use for it star anise i don't really know the tree name for this star anise at cloves this is cloves um pepper that's the one i have here and this is negro pepper gonna we call it um and i have bay leaves i have one kind of corned beef I have my oil, I have onions, um, the white one and the purple one, I have garlic, and I have ginger. I have smoked paprika, this is three tablespoons full, the, the, the bigger spoon, I have three of that, and I have one tablespoon full of grated nutmeg, and this is anise seed, or um, inketinkete, I have rosemary, this is um, two tablespoons full of each rosemary and anise seed. I have my curry powder. This is two tablespoons full of that. And I'm using powdered pepper or mekusam. That's the one I'm using. And this is four tablespoons full. I use a big spoon to measure this one. So that's my mekusam. And I have my tomato paste or 10 tomatoes. This is five kinds of the small ones. That's the one I'm using. And this is my fresh tomatoes that I blended and cooked for about, let's say, 30 minutes. Yeah. So basically, this is what I'm going to use for the stew. This one is the smoky one. At this point, I'll add my oil to the saucepan. I'll just let it heat for about two minutes. So while that is heating up, I will um, start by preparing or I will prep my onion, garlic and ginger. The one that I'm cutting right now, I'm going to fry it in the oil and I will cut the half of it and also blend it as well. Now you don't necessarily have to fry the onion before blending, you can just start by blending it right away and then you add to the oil it's still going to work good but i prefer to go with i prefer to do it this way because um i want the stew to be thick and nice i don't want to add any water to it that's why i'm doing it this way so if you want to try pressing stress kitchen recipe then do it this way now after cutting i'll just add to the oil i'm gonna let it fry for about 15 to 20 minutes because I want it to be golden brown. Now, you have to make sure you stir this periodically. Don't leave it because sometimes the ginger stick to the bottom of the saucepan and you don't want it that way. You don't want it to burn. So make sure you stir your um, vegetables. And guys, Follow me on Instagram as Prissy Interest Kitchen and I'm on Facebook, Prissy Interest Kitchen. You can follow me there or like my page on Facebook as well. Now it's good, so I'm going to take all of them out of it and make sure you do the same thing. You set that aside. Make sure it cools down before you blend and add to your stew. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my diced onion to the oil and you, you just give it a, a quick stir. Don't leave it, don't let it burn. You don't want your, your stew or the onion in the stew to burn. So make sure you stir it. And I blended 
some of the ginger and garlic and the onion as well and i've added that to it now if you add this to the onion the diced onion in the oil make sure you stay don't leave it if you leave it you're gonna burn it and you don't want your stew to burn so make sure you stick around and you continue to stir your stew periodically if you have non-stick uh, saucepan I think you don't have to bother much but if your saucepan is like mine then you have to continue to stir I added my powdered pepper to it yes make sure you stir that one too because it burns so quick and you don't want to burn your your powdered pepper if, if it's burned it's gonna taste bitter and you don't want it that way so I'm gonna go ahead and add my fresh tomatoes that I cooked to it and give it a good good stir make sure it mixes well with your powdered pepper Why a red ya? Na wa pe mu bi e si nchi e mu aye nu aye iri ana ye de bi e go silver ni e tete for e na si e nu ni e de aye jollof wine. Your best jollof you know salad na ka ono no so ni salad ni ready. Na iri aye mfa mu shisha shisha so ni mfa ni say lunch ana say dinner why? So guys, I hope you are enjoying this so far. So at this point, I will just cover and let it um, steam or no, I will let it um, fry for about 15 minutes and I will come back and stir again. Yes, whenever you stir the, the stew, make sure you scratch the bottom of the saucepan. You don't want your stew to burn. And then now I'm going to add my corned beef to it. Mm -hmm. So, um, if you don't want the corned beef, you can add canned tuna or geisha, geisha um, tinapa. In Ghana, we say tinapa. You can add that to it. Or if you have sardines, you can add to it. And if you don't want any fish or any meat or anything in it, like the corned beef and all those canned, canned stuff, just leave it like that and it's still gonna taste good now I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato paste I'm gonna add everything to it now you notice I've not added any water to it yes I don't want to add any water to it I want it to come out thick and nice we don't want it to be watery no now I'll continue to stir make sure you stir now you see that the color is changing uh -huh. You know how life is here. I brought you in a honey dinosia, and I mean, almost see dinoa. On where be any a jamusa. So, whenever I'm doing this to you, I make sure I do it in large quantities so that I can save some. You don't have to be doing this all the time. Now, I blended the 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 onion, garlic, and ginger, the one that I fried earlier on, I blended and I added to it. I also grilled some chicken and I had some stock from that grilled chicken and this is the one I blended. Um, I blended it and added to it as well. So I'm gonna give it a stay. While I'm doing this, I'm not gonna add any salt to it. I'm not gonna add any salt to it. That's how I do my base stew. I never add any salt to it. And this stew is specifically for jollof. So I'm not gonna use this for wache or anything. No, I have another recipe that I'll be showing you all purpose stew, red stew, or tomato stew. I'll be showing you very soon. Continue to stir. Don't leave it. Continue to stir because you don't want the bottom of the saucepan to burn. So continue to stir. Stick around. Don't leave it. Just stick around and continue to stir. Now I'm going to add my paprika and uh, my curry powder and grated 
uh, nutmeg to it as well. Yes, and I will add my anise seed and rosemary. And remember, I had a um, bay leaf. I blended all that together and I'm gonna add to the stew. Yes, I love my rosemary and anise seed. And this is the gloves and negro pepper. We eat pepper and then and I'm a blend it and I'm a day a can. Yes, and you give it a gooster. Now, you see the color is changing now. Yes, this is the color that we want. So, make sure you continue to stay. No more copying the silver no be kasawo. Who do you Because some person has to be she. Yes. So that's how I do my stew. And anytime that you see that um, the tomatoes is well cooked, you will know. You know that when you take some from, from the stew or from the saucepan, um, the, the tomatoes doesn't stick to the to the spoon that you are using. It just it just slip away from it. That means that it's well done. Look. Oh, unumwa na se u ti bi na se ye ne ho se e bubu na se e titi to mu a un se abeng This is the best way to make your tomato stew. If you do it this way, it can stay out from the fridge or from the freezer for a week or two weeks and it's not gonna smell or it's not gonna spoil or anything. It's still gonna be good. Now guys, you see, this is the next day I left it um, to, I just, I left it for it to cool down and this is the next day, you see how beautiful our stew has come. Yes, we've come to the end of the video actually. I hope you enjoyed watching me. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please kindly do so. It's free. Nobody's going to charge you for this, okay? So please, if you want more videos like this, more tips and good recipes and delicious recipes, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell to get all the updates from Precinct Stress Kitchen. As I always say, stay away from trouble never be ahead of God let God be ahead of you in times of trouble please remember be patient in your trials have faith in God he's the only one who can do whatever that you are looking in this world for you until then I will see you another time but before I leave I know you're gonna love this kanzu and the salad stay blessed guys <laughs>